today's lesson, how to draw a cartoon Mad Cat. Hey, it's John Mark, and let's begin our fun lesson on how to draw a Mad Cat. So what I'm going to be doing right now, again, is I'm going to be basically building the basic shapes and first working on the head right there and got the oval and just working on his cheek, got the crosshairs happening for his eyes and his nose and currently working on the deep frown of the eyebrows. All right, so I got the eyes going in right now and I'm uh, just gonna be roughing out the areas where the eyes are in right now and I will come back later and uh, I'll uh, actually make a little bit more detail in there. All right, working on his little nose and his mouth right there. Got to get him frowning a little bit. He's unhappy because someone ate all his cat food, one of his other brothers. All right, so what you'll see me doing in, in this lesson is just the sketching and the rough thumbnails. I'll combine this with other lessons on how I finished inking and coloring it in. So make sure you take a look at those videos as well. So just working on his ears and his hair, coming back and forth. And I'm just quickly sketching out. And as I have shared before in my other video lessons, this is just a thumbnail. So you don't really have to worry about erasing any lines. And uh, if you don't like something, just rework it with a light pencil. And then when you're really getting ready, you can fine tune it with darker one. And there we go. Just got his hands. Those are the circles where his hands are gonna be and his elbows. I'm just gonna be doing his torso area right now for this lesson. All right, that's one right there, one finger. Well, one paw, should I say that's one paw I'm working on, making it like a little cat. All right, there you go, three. He's all upset again, his brother ate all his uh, uh, food, his dinner. And working on the hands, it's almost like a mirror image. I'm kind of making it in a, in a sense with his hands. So you kind of can look at the other side and see how it was shaped. There you go. I'm just working on that, finishing that up. All right, there's an elbow right there. And sometimes if you need uh, to take a reference or a model sheet, that will help. Or you can even have a friend pose. And nowadays with your smartphone, take a picture of them posing like that and then look on your phone and see how they're actually looking when they're frowning and with their hands out there. And years ago, when we were in animation, we actually had um, little mirrors next to our desk so we could make all those expressions and see how our eyes would roll, our mouth would look, and uh, just see that. And same thing what we used to have to do with video cameras to see how we walked for walk cycles or jump. And in this case, we're not doing any animation. We're just basically doing the, the fundamental uh, fun little character right now. Oh, there we go. Get his little whiskers in there. Big ones on the other side, a little larger than on the side at the left side. There we go. Let's get a little bit darker. And then you'll notice when I'm going darker, I'm going a little bit slower, not as fast as I'm sketching when I'm going really quick, but still, still at a decent speed. This takes practice, many years of practicing. The more you draw, the better you'll get and uh, practice, practice, practice. So when you're seeing this, you could change it yourself. You may not want him to be frowning or you can want him to have his mouth open and frowning with teeth in there. So it's your drawing. Feel free to be creative and change it in any way you like. There you go. I'm working on the nose, a little bit darker there. Giving a little highlight there. I'm just gonna do a simple shade in to separate there you go, so you see his nose sticking out, his eye sticking out there. All right, there we go. Let's get the side of his hair there. A couple of hair sticking out. He's really tucked up his shoulder. He's all puffed up underneath his chin. That's a, the feeling I want to get. So this one is, this lesson is really just to play around with a different uh, look and feel instead of happy expression. And I just understand a little bit more about um, sketching again now let's shade in his ears a little bit there so this one you'll see and the other ear is more down so you're not going to see the inside of that one so i'm not going to shade that one in all right so let's get some hair comes around there this fur there that's a little better that's better okay let's work on that hand a little bit more 
and I can see some areas that I would come back to with the, the fine tune and, and straighten up uh, and clean up a lot better. And again, you can take this picture, put it on your window and take another paper and re-render it. I will be taking it in Photoshop and another layer and re-rendering it with a brown pencil to fine tune that one. There we go. Let's get that done there. Okay, that's looking good. A little tough around there. He's looking good. All right, so as always, let's sign and date. And uh, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.